How's it going guys? We're going to go ahead and review Bitdefender Antivirus Plus in 2023. Now, if you want to download the free trial like I did, I will post a link on the description of the video. That'll go here. Just click on download free trial and once you install it, once you download and install it, this is what it looks like here. Now, the first thing I like to try when I review an antivirus is I look at how much RAM and CPU it's taking to run it. Now, of course, my screen recorder is taking 500 megabytes right here. Um, second place is Chrome. Actually, there we go. Second place is BD Service Host, which is Bitdefender. And it takes 500 megabytes of RAM to run. Okay, so keep that in mind. 500 megabytes of RAM to run. CPU-wise, my screen recorder is taking most of it. But um, we can find it here. Where is it? We might not be able to find it because we don't know what it's called, the service for it. But a lot of my CPU is being used, but most of that is from my screen recorder, so we can't really tell. Uh, well, 29%, 12%, all right. So yeah, 500 megabytes of RAM it'll take to run it. This is what it looks like here once you install it. Let's go ahead and take a look at the pros and cons according to PC Magazine. Uh, the pros of Bitdefender Plus is... It has outstanding scores in lab tests, and we will take a look at that here in a bit. It has multi-layered ransomware protection. Isolated browser for banking safety. That's pretty cool. Active do not track. I don't know what that is. Hmm. We'll have to take a look. It does offer a VPN and many security center bonus features. Well, we'll take a look at those features. The cons is unlimited VPN access requires separate subscription, which <laughs> I kind of uh, suspected that. And remarkably slow first full scan, which we'll take a look at that as well. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at it here. It looks like um, pretty easy to use. We've got a quick scan and we got a system scan. Now, quick scan is what it implies a quick scan. If you want to do a full scan, they call it a system scan. We'll go ahead and start a quick scan. And what's cool about it is while you're scanning, you can actually minimize it. Now, can we look at it again? This is the problem. Uh, I don't know. Okay, it's running it, but where is it? Once you minimize it, I can't find it. That's weird. <laughs> All right, in the meantime, let's take a look at other things here. You can also do a vulnerability scan. You can do a VPN. Let's go ahead and... Oh, we've got to install VPN. I will make a review on the VPN. We'll do a free trial on that one but you have to install it to use that. There is a safe pay feature here, which I think takes you, there we go. This is the, uh, I don't know if you guys can still see my screen. I hope you can, because it did a weird thing here, but it does. it is right now using a separate um, browser called Bitdefender Safe Pay. Cool, I like that. So with Safe Pay, you can, it's a separate browser that it was talking about. Nice, I hope you guys were able to see that. It took me to another screen in a way. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the protection tab here. So antivirus, you can open that. And basically the same thing you're seeing in the beginning. Now there is a rescue scan that allows you to scan and remove resilient threats that cannot be solved in the current environment. You must restart your device. And, so it'll boot into a rescue environment is what it, that would do. That's pretty cool. I like that. I have worked in uh, computer repair shops and this would have been really useful because we got to start it in safe mode and now with windows 10 and 11 it's a pain in the ass to get into safe mode so this is kind of like safe mode bit defender version of it pretty cool and here down here you can do more scans you can manage scans if you want you can do a custom one if you want to point to a certain folder let's take a look at the privacy tab here we did look at safe pay it opens up a whole new browser to use vpn you have to buy the whole subscription of vpn it does have a password manager, which I have already tested here. Check it, check it out. Once you make a wallet in here, let me go ahead and put my master password in here. Okay, now in here you can go ahead and add stuff. You can add, um, cool, the quick scan finished. It says it's clean. But here you can go ahead and, for example, online baking, you can add item. Put your num credit card number, the type, Visa, MasterCard, Discover, whatever it might be. Everything on it, hit save, and now you can have all your passwords in here, which is pretty cool. 
I like that. And it comes with the plus version. Pretty cool stuff. All right. Uh, we do have an anti-tracker in this. Blocks web trackers from collecting data. That's what that a tracker thing was. That would enable user profiling. Uh -huh. So it's on on Chrome. It's on an Internet Explorer. Uh, you got to click on these links. And it's taking me, when I click on it, it takes me to the um, Edge browser here. So apparently they have it built in. But no, pretty nice, pretty nice. You don't never want to get tracked anyway. You start seeing ads targeted directly to you, and they work, man. I bought some stuff from those ads. <laughs> I've been, I was looking at certain items, and then all of a sudden they pop up here for sale. I'm like, what? Crazy. It's crazy how they track you. All right, utilities. Uh, so here you could uh, set up profiles. You can set up a work, a movie profile, a game profile, and a public. So in case if you're going to play a game, you turn that on. You configure it the way you want. And then uh, you turn it on when you're gaming or when you're watching a movie. That way it doesn't pop up and disturb you. Pretty cool stuff there. There is a file shredder. So you just add an item here. And you could shred it. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Notifications. Quick scan completed successfully. So here you can go ahead and uh, look at everything that's happened. Like I stopped the system scan and it says right there. Now this is the paid version. For being a paid version, um, I'm not very impressed. Because if I'm going to pay for something, it's got to have everything. I don't see any parental controls in here. Um, let's go to settings here. So if you want to password protect your uh, Bitdefender, which I recommend you do, you do it that way. Uh, display and product notifications, turn that crap off. I don't want to see that. First time I ever see you could turn that off. Uh, you can actually change the language too. You want me to do a review in Spanish? <laughs> All right. Oh, there's dark mode. Boom. That looks pretty cool. All right, dark mode. All right, and you can protect nine more devices with your subscription. So you can install it on nine more computers. Let's go ahead and take a look at the pricing. If you guys decided to buy this? While we're doing that, let's run a system scan. Because we haven't run one yet. So there is... Let me see where the pricing is. Um, oh, so here's more specs. Let's go through that first. It does have on-demand while malware scan. Where's the malware scan, though? I didn't see it. Did you guys see a malware scan? I did not see how to do a malware scan on here. If you guys learn how to do that, let me know. Comment on the comment section of the video, but I have not learned how to do it. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. Ransomware remediation. That's where it's at. Let's take a look. Looks like it might be open on another website here. Bear with me. Uh, something happened. Uh, nothing happened, really. Huh. Okay. I don't know why I didn't do anything. It actually closed the whole program. Let me open it back up. All right, guys. So it closed when I try to open up the ransomware virus. Um, antivirus. For some reason, it just closed the whole thing. I don't know what the heck's going on there. But let's continue with the specs. So that malware scan... It says it has it, but every time I try to open it, it closes the, the the antivirus for some reason. If you guys get to make it work, let me know and go ahead and comment on the comment section, guys. I, I couldn't get it to work. Behavior-based detection, yes. Website rating, yes. Malicious URL blocking, yes. Phishing protection, yes. Vulnerability scan, yes. There is no firewall on this thing. Like I said, guys, if you're going to pay for something, make sure it's got everything. All right, or find the one that has the most stuff, the most utilities. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the lab test scores because we can run a scan, but I really don't have any viruses on my computer. Not that I know of. But let's go ahead and take a look at uh, PC Magazine's lab tests. They do really good lab tests on antivirus. All four independent antivirus testing labs uh, include Bitdefender in the testing. Researchers at AV Comparatives did this test. And uh, they're just explaining what they do. But anyway, it looks like Bitdefender got they did four number of labs, and the score they got was 10, guys. 10. Really good score. So so that should give you some 
some confidence that uh, Bitdefender can protect you against viruses and ransomware. But for some reason, we'll try it one more time, guys. But for some reason, every time I hit map, there it is. Finally, a while ago, it wasn't working. So here, all you can do is just add exceptions. Automatic restore. So automatically restore files that were encrypted by ransomware. So it'll do that. Wow. Restore files that have been encrypted. You hit restore. There are no encrypted files. So if it picks up any encrypted files, you should be able to do that. However, some ransomware viruses don't even let you get to this screen here. So if, if you have automatic restore, make sure you have that on all the time in case you do get ransomware on your computer. <laughs> so you can add an exception for certain things. But that's it, guys. It got a good test score. I would say I got to give Bitdefender, if I had to give it a rating, I'm going to give it 4 out of 5. I didn't give it 5 out of 5 because there's some utilities in here that I, didn't, I did not see. For example, firewall and parental control. If they had that in here, then heck yeah. Maybe there's another bit defender. I think there's total security bit defender, which we will review. But I will give it 4 out of 5 stars. All right, one last thing. Let's go ahead and take a look at what the pricing is. It looks like it's $39.99 per year. Now, you used to only pay one time for antivirus, and I don't know why the heck now it's they're charging us per year, which is really annoying. But anyway, that's all, they're all doing it that way now. Bitdefender's pricing matches that of many competitors. More than a dozen others go roughly the same price, like Webroot, Trend Micro Asset, and F-Secure, all $39.99 too. But that gets you three licenses for the price. Three Bitdefender will run you $59.99 per year. So that's the bottom line price right there. Um, and it's just comparing prices. So you're looking to spend anywhere from $39.99 to $59.99. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you soon in the next review video.